Hey, Steph listeners, hear about the latest trends in the travel industry with the brand USA Talks Travel Podcast. Right now, listen to special live from IPW interviews featuring U.S. Travel's Jeff Freeman. DMOs are at the heartbeat of U.S. Travel. Liz Bittner from Travel South. A lot of key gateway markets are back. L.A. Tourism's Adam Burke. We all win when we all partner together. Plus, brand USA's Stacey Melman and Jackie Ennis with international travel trends and Chris Thompson's farewell finale. I'm Mark Lapidus. Join us for brand USA Talks Travel on your favorite podcast platform. Brand USA Talks Travel. Good morning from Skift. For daily updates in your inbox, subscribe to the Skift Daily Newsletter at skift.com slash daily. It's Friday, September 15th, 2023, and now here's what you need to know about the business of travel today. Maui faces a long road to a full tourism recovery after wildfires decimated part of the island last month. Travelers have largely been slow to return to Maui out of sensitivity to local residents, writes global tourism reporter DeWitt Hoptimerium. Although Hawaiian tourism officials have said most of Maui is ready to welcome tourists, Hoptimerium reports some travel businesses believe it's too soon for visitors to come back. Alaskan Air Group Chief Financial Officer Shane Tackett said a subset of travelers aren't eager to vacation in a destination still suffering. In addition, airlines are continuing to cut flights to Maui in response to the wildfires. Hubd Merriam adds tour operators have been cautious about taking guests back to Maui. G Adventures is considering making a return to the island in October or November. Its vice president of product, Yves Marceau, said it doesn't want travelers to feel like they're going back too early. Next, Marriott International is making progress in reducing its carbon footprint ahead of its 2030 target. But the company's emissions data reveals its greenhouse gas emissions increased last year, reports head of research Wouter Geertz. Geertz writes, Marriott has some of the best tracking of emissions of any hotel company. That reporting showed the company's Scope 1 and 2 emissions rose by 2.5% in 2022 compared to 2021. Scope 1 and 2 emissions are all emissions from activities under operational control for hotel companies. Geertz notes Marriott is still on track to reach its 2030 emissions goal. But he adds the company needs a 5.4% annual decline in emissions to hit its target. Finally, Spirit Airlines stunned investors and even its competitors with its forecast of a steep third-quarter operating loss, reports Jay Shabbat, senior analyst for Skift publication Airline Weekly. Spirit anticipates its third-quarter operating margin to be between negative 15 and 16 percent. The company had forecast in August the figure would be roughly negative 7 percent. Shabbat notes that fuel prices have increased sharply in recent weeks, while demand has softened. Spirit also expects total revenue for the third quarter to decrease from what was previously forecast. The poor forecast follows a rough first half for Spirit. Only Hawaiian Airlines performed worse in terms of operating margin in the first half of this year among major U.S. carriers. For more travel stories and deep dives into the latest trends, head to skift.com. To find these stories and more insight into the business of travel, subscribe to the Skift Daily Newsletter at skift.com daily. Hey, Skiff listeners, hear about the latest trends in the travel industry with the Brand USA Talks Travel Podcast. Right now, listen to special live from IPW interviews featuring U.S. Travel's Jeff Freeman. DMOs are at the heartbeat of U.S. Travel. Liz Bittner from Travel South. A lot of key gateway markets are back. L.A. Tourism's Adam Burke. We all win when we all partner together. Plus, Brand USA's Stacey Melman and Jackie Ennis with international travel trends and Chris Thompson's farewell finale. I'm Mark Lapidus. Join us for Brand USA Talks Travel on your favorite podcast platform. Brand USA Talks Travel.